Hey guys, how y'all doing? I got a little guy with me and what we're doing is we're just going around the city of Charleston and I'm going through like memory lane. I'm showing little guy where I started at and you know, things that I've done and you know, I'm trying to pass that on to him. <laughs> yeah, like he don't wanna listen. So anyway, um, I remember I used to drive for Uber. I was an Uber driver and I was driving for Uber for about maybe three years. I was doing it off and on. And I remember when I left California, well actually Uber was a way for me to get to California as far as save up money. I got there, spent my money, had to come back home, vice versa, did that like a couple times. But I will say, California ended up breaking me, breaking the bank for me. And I'll say that in a good way, because like, I was so broke when I came from California. It was like, what am I gonna do? I ain't got no job. How I'm gonna make it? And it was like really, really hard. So I was already doing Uber before I left. And I came back here to the city of Charleston. It was like my first time. Like I would come here for field trips and I'd be like, man, I don't know. This city kind of skeptical. It's kind of, it's kind of whack, kind of boring. Let me tell you, my friend put me on to doing Charleston, Uber in Charleston. And I was doing it in Columbia, South Carolina at first. That's like an hour. 30 minutes, almost two hours away from where I live at, in the capital city. And I was doing Uber for, you know, like I said, off and on in Columbia. And I came here. Let me tell you, the money that I made, I made lots of money. I made over maybe, over probably, I, I would make $1,000 per week. That's how diligent I was with making my money, meeting my goals. Uber has taught me how to be a entrepreneur, taught me how to be a boss, be savvy with money, don't overspend. And I was really good at it. You know, I always had high ratings. My ratings were very high. Um, I always had good conversations with the passengers. They tell me about their day, I tell them about mine. And then we go back and forth and things like that. And um, I will never forget where I came from. I might not have to do Uber anymore. I don't have to do it no more. Cause I done made it. I feel like I done made it. But I never forget where I came from. You know, this was where I, this wasn't where I really started at. This is where I was placed at. And then I just progressed and I just progressed. My dreams were very, very, very small then. But now they're just really big. And it's like, I'm about making big dreams. So I am very, very thankful for Charleston, South Carolina. And it will always be a good memory in my head. Like I made a lot of money in this city and I would come to this city I would be like so broke I would have like no money in my pocket coming to the city leaving the city because I live like an hour and 30 minutes away and leaving the city I would leave with about at least a thousand I would not leave the city until I had my goal my goal was to get a thousand dollars per week I had to pick up 40 people a day my car has seen over 30, no, it has seen over 3,000 people in this car. Over, at least 6,000 people have been in this car. It can happen. It can definitely happen. But like I said, I'm just very thankful and I'm grateful where I came from and I never ever will forget that right off the muscle. I ain't gonna forget that. I'm grateful, I'm thankful, and we came a long way, so. That just goes to show you, if you got dreams, chase them. Don't let it stop you, you keep going. I had a goal, I said to myself, I'm not gonna be doing Uber forever. But Uber was good because guess what? I was getting out of debt. You know, it didn't help a lot get out of debt, but it helped me get out of debt. Let's just say, <sighs> I'm just so thankful. I'm grateful and I'm thankful. I can't say that enough. So I really just came back to the city of Charleston to just like go down memory lane and kind of like, you know, reminisce really. Cause there have been times when I used to drop people off to the club, pick them up from the club. I never went out to the club, believe it or not. I never went out to the club. I never even got out the car to be like, oh yeah, let me go out there and dance. And do I ain't even did nothing. I was always serious about my money. Like my friends were asking me, oh, you going out tonight? Or my pastors were asking me, hey, you wanna come out with us to the club? Come on, man, take a break. I can't, I have to work. I have to make money. 
and it paid off. So it sucks to see everybody wearing a mask because this isn't what I remember. I don't remember Charleston being like this with a mask. This ain't the way I, I remember it at all, you know. I don't remember it this way. You know, things have changed. I'm thankful I don't have to do Uber anymore because that was a way for me to be able to evolve and adapt into the world. So I'm gonna tour around the city a little bit more. I'm gonna see what else I see. This is memory lane for me. I remember these streets always being busy with people, especially pedestrians. They were always crossing the street and not to mention cars always be stopping, but this is like a touristy shopping little area, really small. My first time doing Uber here, this is where I dropped the passenger off, right along this street. I will never forget, this is my very, very, very first Uber rider, and her name was Amanda. And I also remember when I used to pick people up, like I used to hate picking up people that was like super drunk. And um, when people got intoxicated and they threw up in your car, that happened three times. And let's just say I got paid for it, but it didn't add up. I don't care what they say. I might have got $145 for that day, but I had to sit out two days. So it was not a win-win situation with that. But other than that, I mean, drunk people wasn't that bad to pick up, really. They just ramble, and you just, oh yeah, uh-huh, for real? Yeah, uh-huh, oh really? Y'all got a fake small talk. I do it all the time. <laughs> I don't mean that in a bad way, but I'm just saying. Uh, yeah, that was like a situation. Um, people would always ask me, what's the craziest thing that happened to you? Hmm. I always had to improvise, think on my feet, think about what was the craziest thing that happened to me. And um, nothing, really nothing really crazy really even happened. But there was this one time when I did pick up this lady. It was a rainy night. I picked it up from a bar. She was like in her like 60s, 70s. She reminded me of Betty White. You know Betty White from the Golden Girls. And um, I picked the lady up, right? And the first thing she asked me was like, you believe in demons? Like, lady, if you don't get your crazy stuff off my car. <laughs> so I didn't even know how to answer that. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, so. Memory lane. I would have been turning on my Uber app like this. Oh, I got to pick up, what's that, Rebecca? How far is she? She's five minutes away. Okay, let me see if I can get, find a shortcut to get to her. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Wow, things have changed. They have changed a lot. Let me take you guys on a small little tour. So <laughs> I guess I'll pretend like I'm doing an Uber. So I tell the passengers that this bridge, by the way, the name of this bridge is the Arthur Raveno Bridge. And um, I tell people like this was the bridge that they um, built the new version of an old bridge that was torn down or blown up uh, just to make room. So I tell them that and I'd be like, yeah, you can still see remnants of the old bridge like when we first got on this bridge, you saw like part of a bridge that was already standing or something connected to look like maybe the highway. That was the old bridge. Uh, I really like this bridge. I made a lot of money on this bridge. I don't know how many times I drove over this bridge, but it had to be about maybe like five to 600 times. I'm sure it was. Cause I come on this bridge and drive at 3 a.m. in the morning, 2 a.m in the morning sometimes 5 p.m like i have really 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 used to do that i really do miss these roads like really seeing all of the scenery seeing a lot of the trees a lot of the marsh grasslands that's one thing that i really 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 missed about being out here because it was like you were on an island but it really wasn't an island it was connected by a bunch of bridges and roads that's how charleston is and um you know i can remember a lot of things coming on the street uh not just this street but other streets around the area like there are some parts of the town that i'm really familiar with places i have to learn 
and I think with this bridge that I'm about to come up to, I think that that bridge, I don't know if it lift, lift, if it lifts up. It probably don't. They got another one similar to that, but this is a bunch of nostalgia just hitting me, and I really, 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 really do miss it. And hopefully one day, come back to return. I can remember having to always having to fill up at the gas station. So we just getting a little bit of gas, me wings, and you know, little guy Chucky. So I used to have to stop all the time for gas. Like every time when I do like more Ubering, it's like I gotta fill it like four times a day. So I was always at the gas station. But it looked me, my car is good on gas. So I don't miss them days. Have to stop and fill up, stop and fill up, stop and fill up. But it's like the money I was putting into gas, I kind of was getting back. I was definitely getting back, you know. But it is what it is, so. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to change hats because, let me get myself situated. I'm gonna put on my Uber hat because it ain't right if I don't got on my Uber hat. Show y'all my Uber hat, my money-making hat. It's really my Dr. Martin Luther King hat, but it's my money-making hat. So let's go ahead and switch hats because I'm a man of many hats or a jack of many trades. Ooh. Is it on right? It's on right, little guy? It ain't? Okay. Let's see. All right, it was on wrong. All right, guys. So I remember I used to wear like the khakis and the colored collared shirt. Boy, that was an Uber memory right there. Alright, so, so I continue to just ride around one memory lane. Alright, I guess I like this side of me talking, the side of my face. I probably shouldn't be doing it this way, so let me flip it over a little bit. So I really just want to show you guys the houses that they have out here. Um, they're really nice. Preferably, I wouldn't live on the beach or near the beach because September in Charleston is hurricane season. So therefore, it's kind of like, but they are pretty and they're really nice to look at. So hopefully I'll catch a few. It sucks because it's gray. I feel like I'm riding somewhere like Long Beach, California, where it's just gray or foggy or even San Francisco because I'm getting that gray vibe. You know, it's not sunny like it was like a little bit. It's probably going to rain today. I should have checked the weather for the forecast, but I'm going to show you guys these homes. I used to always drive by them and be like, dang, I'm going to own one of these homes or dang, I'm going to get a creative idea or dang, who's building that house? Maybe I can get a job from them and work for them and be something, something. But I'm getting my own thing, doing my own thing and everything is working out right. You know, like I said before, dreams, even big dreams start out small. And that is something I have not forgotten. I'm not gonna forget that. And y'all can see the houses behind me. Y'all see these houses? Like some of them are really big, some are a little small, but most of them are like big. Probably like maybe like $2 million, you know, three million. But they aren't that pricey compared to the other homes I've seen, but these are kind of expensive. And one thing I really liked about doing Uber was like Uber would send you all over the place, meaning one ride would start here on the side of the city and the other one would start on the other one. So I never knew what my day would be like. My day would always be interesting because it never started the same. And each day I had to like warm myself up because sometimes I could be very introverted, meaning, you know, it's a little hard for me to socialize and be around people because I like kind of, you know, doing my own thing. But um, I also noticed that I am an extrovert too because it's like a switch. I can turn it on and turn it off. It just depends on, you know, what the mood is. And I can really talk and have a conversation with anybody, really. I'm very friendly. So, yeah, I kind of miss, you know, being able to just jump onto the app, the Uber app, and being able to, you know, pick up riders and passengers, you know? I, I didn't mind it. I had actually a good time doing it because it, it was helpful because a lot of people, when you don't have like a social life, that be your social life, you know? And at that time, I don't really think I was just, I don't even think I had a social life. I really didn't. 
I didn't go out to clubs. I didn't really have many friends. And if I did have friends, I never really had time to really speak to them. I always was working, doing some Ubering. So it looks like we've cornered a the end where we gotta turn around. This is like where I guess they have boats at the marina. So let's turn around. You guys can kind of see out the window what I'm looking at. So but yeah, I missed that because no day was the same. Like each day would start off a little different. Like one day I'm picking up somebody from the airport. The next day I'm picking up somebody from this and that day or the next night or the same day or the same night. So those are some of the memories that I remember. Some of the memories I'm very thankful for because they're sweet memories. Because I could just think about it and be like, oh man. Like a lot of times I listen to music. A lot of the music that I would play, I still have it on, you know, saved on my phone. So it's like, oh, I remember that song. Bring back a sweet memory. You know how you have sweet memories, stuff like that. So, good old days. But it does feel great to be back in Charleston, South Carolina. Okay guys, so we are approaching the gym where I used to take my showers at, because uh, like I told y'all, like I told you I used to sleep in my car. So I used to always head here to take a shower, and let me just say I love, love, love this gym. Planet Fitness. Guys, welcome to Planet Fitness. This is the gym that I would come to, and let's say like if I was working really late at night, or if I just got off, I'd come here at maybe like three in the morning when I'm just getting off, and I would take a shower. But there's a little bit more to that story. It, you know, I work out too, but mostly I use the gym for like hygiene purposes, you know, stuff like that. And um, I got to show y'all a couple more spots before I tell y'all that story. But the gym was cool. Um, like I said, I get off from doing like a late night of Uber or very, very early, early morning of Uber. And I, you know, I get my shower in and um, I'd be all fresh. It was kind of like how I was in California when I, you know, did my car thing and what my car thing is is I actually lived in my car I lived out of my car like even being here in Charleston like I took my skills from California that I learned about the car thing and I brought them here to Charleston so it was kind of like all right I know how to do this this is the same sh different no it's the what the same sh different toilet or something like that y'all get what I'm saying so yeah I had to handle all my hygiene at the gym get a good workout in and be fresh and I think we're off to the hotel now like where did I lay my head did I lay my head in the hotel uh, not really I did my car thing um, a lot of my passengers would ask me so you drive an hour and 30 minutes all the way here where do you sleep I would say like you know because I wasn't open with everybody I didn't really tell anybody I lived out of my car you know you know back there you just slide them seats down but I'm gonna reveal that later on in the story so we're on our way to the next spot. But uh, they would ask, where do you sleep at? I'd be like, I live, um, you know, I'd be at a friend's house. You know, I can crash there, I get a hotel. I'm frugal, so I am not going to be getting a hotel. That's number one. Number two, I don't have friends here. I'm not gonna be standing at nobody's house because I don't do that. And yeah. So I'm probably gonna go to the hotel just to show you guys I'm gonna grab me something to eat. Because when I used to eat as an Uber driver, not healthy. All I ate was junk food, fast food, and I didn't have access to no microwave, to no kitchen, so I couldn't like warm any of the food up. So it was what it was. It was good. And I did put on some weight. I did put on some weight. I really did. Because I was just sitting in one spot, driving for 12 hours a day. And I would drive for 12 hours faithfully. And I started to notice things. I was like, you know what? My stomach getting kind of big was all of the junk food I was eating. But you live and you learn. We are on our way to the never ending road to the hotel. Nah, this road does end though, for real, for real. I kind of miss it too. But we're going to the hotel. I'm gonna show you guys how I used to like actually like, you know, lay my head, sleep, you know, a little bit this, a little bit that. Uh, what I will say is, you know, believe it or not, but 
I was actually safe when what, what I was doing where I was at. And um, yeah, but I love being on the highway. I love driving, period. And, you know, looking at all of this stuff is definitely some nostalgia for me. So, guys, we just pulled up to the hotel and I'm not going to say what name it is. But if you see the name, you know where it's at. That's what's up. Like and comment below if you do. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just going to park my car. And um, I'm going to, you know, talk to y'all about, you know, what went down, how it happened, all that good stuff. So, yeah, prepare for some story time. All right, guys. So welcome to the hotel spot. So this is where I probably like sleep at in, at the nighttime when it came to night. I've always had like several hotels around the city. Like I would never choose the same hotel back in a row because you tend to look suspicious. And um, this is one of the spots that I know that I, I knew I could trust it. And it was very like safe for me to be at. So I'd come here and um, I'd probably like park where the tree at. Um, it was like quiet, nobody bothered me. And you know, I'd have like my pillow, my blanket, and I would just, you know, lay those seats back. I never let passengers put their possessions back there because I felt like that was germs and you're not putting your big roller book bag that's been on the ground. You're not putting it where I sleep at. And yeah, I never really slept on these chairs like that. Only because I know people was in and out, in and out, and that's, mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. I've done it before, but no, mm -hmm. I wouldn't do it ever again. So I just, you know, lay that back and I probably like wake up the next morning, get my day started like at 10 in the morning. You know, I always would try to catch crowds. Like I knew if I was gonna be staying out till three in the morning, there was no way I was gonna wake up at 10 in the morning there was just no way because my body clock don't work like that so i would just um you know wake up some days i do an early night retire if i feel like i made enough money and i just you know wake up and be like oh you know what it's 10 o'clock let me set my alarm let me go ahead and get the day started and i you know i would get my day started and it would it would pretty much be like the first thing I would do if I didn't go to the gym the night before, I'd probably go and grab me like a snack or something, maybe some breakfast, you know, get the day started. And I just, you know, get on the app. If I got a ping, yep, it was time to start. Now, when it also came down to making sure my car was clean, my car was clean, it smelled great. I always made sure I kept Febreze. And I always kept sanitizer and I kept like the um what's that stuff that you, the aerosol can you know why well, I can't think of it like it's very popular now you can't find it in the store that's so much I never forgot uh Lysol there it is Lysol I had to spray that on everything in the car so my car was like whoo that was a story but it feels great see this is why you should come back do memory lane, you know, never forget where you came from because you can always go back. And I ain't trying to go back. I'm just grateful for the experience because it was a time in my life where I was like, you know what? I don't know how I'm gonna make it, but this is helping me make it to where I wanna be at. And it pretty much helped me to where I wanted to be at. And I'm not 100% where I wanna be at, but I'm pretty close. I feel it, I know I am, so. Let me think of any other stories that I would have to share. Um, what else? I think that's it for right now. I think every time when I go to a new spot, a new location, a new memory pop up, and I'd be like, Yeah, I remember this. That's pretty much how it has been around the city. Like, this is just one hotel spot right here that I had I, many throughout the city. Um, I like this one in this area because it was closer to the gym where I just came from, it was very close. So, and I didn't have to worry about nobody bothering me, no nothing, because I was number one, inconspicuous or incognito or low key. You know, I had a low profile. You know, I wasn't all, you know, I wasn't all that rowdy and I wouldn't cause them tension. So I laid them seats back. I'd probably put like a sheet, a black sheet right here so you couldn't see in the car and my windows were already tinted. So, you know, yep. That was my little bit of Uber life living that way. So we're gonna um, 
probably got a few more spots. I'm hungry. I think little guy's hungry too. Probably gonna get some lunch or something like that. So I can't believe I'm I kind of feel like I'm doing Uber right now because I got on this hat. Feels like I went back in time a little bit, but I really didn't. So come a long way. So guys, y'all know I'm about to pig out. Ain't nothing ain't changed. I'm about to pig out and grab me some of this food from Wendy's. And uh, dang, I forgot to get little guy something. You get some nuggets. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pay for this food so I can go ahead and eat. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me go ahead and say my grace. God is good, God is great. Let us thank him for our food. Five cents, we all are fed. Give us all our daily bread. Oh, man. Amen. So. I already said the grace, we blessed the food. So I get us some food. I'm hungry. Guys, when I tell y'all, look at this big bag I got from Wendy's. You know it's something serious if I got a big bag like this. But I just got a full size taco salad and you know some nuggets for a little guy. Look at him. He sleep. He ain't sleep, y'all. Comes from where his food at. I'll give him a nugget. So, <laughs> here, here you go. Got you some nuggets. Eat all of them. I'm gonna enjoy this taco salad. So I'm a, um, probably gonna be talking. So this is one of the things that I would normally do. I would, you know, if I'm on break, I would, um, you know, I didn't really log my hours or anything. I just, I never had a schedule. I would eat whenever I got hungry. And, um, but I noticed, you know, don't eat. Y'all, this is the healthiest I've eaten in a while. I don't eat like this. This is healthy right here. I don't eat no salads, but this is a taco salad from Wendy's. But uh, this is the healthiest I ever have been eating. But um, what I would normally do is I had no, no time schedule. You know, obviously you don't want to eat no huge meal because that's going to make you tired. And you're probably not going to be wanting to do no more Ubering because you're going to be full. So I would probably eat something light during the daytime. And I probably would eat something heavy, like when it's, whenever I got off, if I could find something, because all the restaurants was closed. So I probably would eat, you know, Waffle House late at night, because I know that that was the only thing that was open. If y'all don't know what Waffle House is, y'all check out Waffle House. They sell more than waffles. I would normally get grits, bacon, the all-star meal, eggs, cheese, that sound good right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and make you do what it do with this salad. You know, and I probably, you know, like, I'd probably be eating my food. I still eat in my car now. So it's kind of like, I probably gonna watch a video or something else. I know y'all don't wanna, I don't wanna watch me eat and talk to y'all. Cause that's, it's kind of boring, but. So, you know, I'm about to eat this good old salad, this fresh salad too. Y'all, this, this smells good. This smells real good. They got nacho chips in here. Got the nacho chip too. Oh, they on point. They on point, y'all. Like the little salsa, but I'm about to show y'all how I do this. All right. Hold on. We don't want no accident, so let's move fast. Feel like that's gonna cause an accident. Wait, y'all want to see too? Y'all so nosy. Okay, I can't show y'all and hold the camera. That's too much. I ain't doing all that. Go ahead and. Crumble up these chips. You know, get these chips good and crumble. Okay, they good and crumble, y'all. All right, they crumbled it up. Go ahead and spread these chips on there, y'all. Okay, y'all know I don't like old oh, snap. Okay. This is why I don't eat in my car. And another thing, when it came to people eating in my car, I didn't really like that. You know, people leave crumbs and stuff. Obviously what I'm doing, I had to vacuum my car like every other day. Lord forbid if you threw up in my car. So I'm glad I brought that up too. It was always good to keep your car clean, you know, fresh. You know, I have a little hand vacuum that I would have and a little, you know, a little broom, a little mini one that I would use. And that's how I would keep my car clean. So we wouldn't have no issues with that. Gosh, it really do feel like I'm about to do Uber today, y'all. But the thing is, I can't pick up not one customer because I ain't got the app no more. And I ain't about to get it because <laughs> I'm retired. 
I'm a has been when it came to Uber. I was great at my job, but mm -mm. time to grow, okay? Time to elevate and grow. And that's pretty much what I've been doing. I've been elevating and growing. Uh, put this good old sauce on there, this good old salsa. Little guy looking like where his food at. Nah, he's sleep, y'all. He's sleep. <laughs> mm. And this chili, y'all. I'm about to put this chili on. It's about to make it happen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, snap. Now I got some of my clothes. God dang it. See, this is why I don't eat in my car as much. So I didn't use all the chili. Half of it was on my clothes and on my seat. This is why I don't let people eat in my car. Reasons like this. They ain't gave me no napkins. I was about to say, I don't need napkins. Little guy, I want a nugget. He don't care. He keep anyway. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. That's real hot. All right. Let's take the first bite. Y'all see how this look? Let's take the first bite. I'm so excited. Just like I remember. Good. It's real good. Mmm. Real good. But today feel like it's like a, gonna be like a really good day. The sun has come back out. I'm just pretty much riding around memory lane. And This is good, so good. You guys know what a mukbang is? Where people have like a bunch of food in front of them, they eat it on camera. Do I think I should start one? Probably not, huh? Stomach already out here. So I ain't gonna start one. I'm trying to lose weight, I can make me gain weight. One lady do it, she get paid a lot. You know, she eats seafood, crab legs. I don't like seafood, so you know what about me eating no seafood. So, none of that. If it was hamburgers or something, maybe hot dogs or corn dogs or pizza, I could do that, but. No seafood. Mm. This is still good. What's what I'm gonna talk about? Let me know in the comments below. We can talk. <laughs> and stuff I would probably think about, you know, I'd be like, oh, okay, you gotta hear me eat this food. I don't want to get too full. I don't want to get too sleepy. I got another guest to pick up. And guys, another thing, I would avoid foods that had smells because I didn't want people to smell no type of food. Like I would avoid anything that had Subway, like Subway onions. No, you don't want your car smell like onions. I would avoid stuff like that spicy, like, you know, hot wings. Cause you don't want that to be on your breath. And then you're talking to your passengers. I would avoid anything with onions, all of that. That's one thing about me. I always kept some gum in my mouth or offered it because you get some customers and pastors with some funky breath. And you don't want your breath to be funky because you can't really smell your breath. Other people can. You, you don't want that. Mm -hmm. So my recommendation is always keep gum. You never know. You might just find the one while you're doing Uber. 
trust me, you don't want to be caught off guard with no funky breath. That's not going to be a good look. It ain't. But I'm going to eat this. And um, after this, I'm going to go ahead and um, make a couple of stops. Another thing, you know, as doing Uber here, like, I've already said I never really got out to really explore the city. I've driven around it, but I never, like, walked or anything. I really was always too busy, you know? I never really got out the car to experience what life was like in Charleston. I was always in the car, driving around, being Mr. Taxi Driver, which was cool, because I did get paid for it. But now being on the other side, I might just have to do it. I'm gonna catch y'all guys a little bit. I'm gonna eat this food and be healthy. I guess salads aren't so bad after all. Mm. This is good though. Mm. Sean, a little bit. Oh, it was so good, y'all. I haven't ate little guys' nuggets. But. That's what I meant. Don't eat a big meal if you're about to do Ubering because you're going to be tired, full, probably passing gas. Yeah, I think I need a little nap. I'll get right back to y'all. Take a little nap. Just a little nap. So we are back on the road. And um, that was a good little, I wouldn't even call it a nap. I didn't even close my eyes. I just rested for about 10 minutes, 30, 40. It wasn't that long, it was just for a little bit. So I just rested for a little bit. And um, now I am about to get back on the road, tour again, kind of like see what else is out there. And that's what I was saying to myself, don't eat big meals, especially if you're doing Uber. I hadn't done this in a while. So I normally get sleepy whenever I eat anyway, after I eat, so <laughs> next time I know, don't do it. I still want to get the rest of the daylight. It's still really nice and pretty outside, so. Why spend that resting like a lizard in your car? I don't want to do that. I want to sightsee, so I'm a sightsee. All right, speaking of sightseeing, we are back across the Arthur Ravner Bridge. And I really, really, really enjoy, you know, this view from where I'm at. Now, let me tell y'all, after five o'clock, y'all already know, it be traffic bridge be backed all up you can probably not get to where you want to go to especially if you got a time limit to meet luckily i really never had that problem because it was like i can get there whenever i want to i mean unless i had to pick up a passenger or a rider or something like that other than that it was pretty you know pretty simple and um yeah like this bridge also reminds me of the golden gate bridge i tell all my passengers and riders i'll be like hey Y'all notice the version of the Golden Gate Bridge, right? This odd version of it, so, yeah. But, you know, I really enjoy the view from up here, too. I'm not even gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. I am not going to lie. Like, I love getting good shots. I might even be a photographer one day, videographer. Who knows? <laughs> Gotta keep going, right? Keep on going. back down to back town i can't even get it out i just made my way back to downtown so this is something i would always recommend getting if you're doing an uber job have some of these because you will get sleepy you will get tired so your energy will burn and always have a red bull or some type of energy drink to keep you going it'd be days and times where i'd be like so like 
taking one here, one there. This all I drunk on the road was Monster Drinks and Red Bulls because I felt like I get drowsy sometimes, so it's good to always drink these. So I always kept a couple of these on. It's busy today. Today is busy. You would think with all this stuff going on, people be at home, but it's busy for Monday. This is a new adaptation. Little guy still sleep over there, y'all. Oh, the sun is out. See why we couldn't get this when it was the beach back that way. Now the sun all in my eye. All in my face. Alright, let's switch lanes. But other than that, it's a nice day. I gotta figure out what else I want to do. Where do I want to go at? I'm not sure just yet. Maybe I'll think of something else. Really soon. I'm about to leave Charleston a little bit. On to the next place. There'd be some times where I'd just be driving around the city and sometimes like normally with Charleston you will get a ping with Uber like really quick like really really quick back to back but there are some times like uh, a little bit of times where it's like sometimes it's like you have to keep riding around the city and sometimes like you have to become very very um, familiar with these streets because sometimes you might learn shortcuts sometimes you might you know, want to avoid some traffic. So, I know if I was to do Uber today, I'd probably be getting some pings because not everybody, you know, has a car here or, you know, it's just more convenient. I was getting more traffic here than I was in my other town where I'm from, you know? So it's kind of like money is to be made. And there were some other places too that I didn't really talk about that I, you know, I tried to do Uber in. Like for example, I wanted to do Uber in like San Francisco. That would have been really a good place to really, you know, do it. Cause that's a busy city too. And a lot of people be like, how much money do you make? And all this stuff. Well, I was making most of my money through tips. Tips definitely can be a booster, you know, tips. You know, and the way to get tips, it really depends on the on your passenger and how they feel. Sometimes they tip, sometimes they don't. You know, it's not it's not a requirement. I tip everywhere I go. So, you know, I feel like if you give good service, I'm going to tip you. And it's kind of like, it's payback in a way. All the times I got tipped, now I'm tipping other people. So those were a couple things. Now, a way to really get tips is to always be like, you know, have a, a friendly attitude, maybe play some good music, you know, maybe um, have a good conversation. That's That right there will get you tips alone. Good conversation. So that's what I was doing. And you know, I did really good with my, my tips. I would always play the song by J. Cole at the end of the night. I played a song called J. Cole, called Count It Up. No, I think it's called ATM. Yeah, it's called ATM. So I'd be like, how much money I made? Okay, how much money I made? Okay, okay. And then I would like start my day with a budget as how much I wanted to make that day. For example, there was like on the weekends, like Saturday and Sunday were my busiest days. So what I would do is I'd count up. I'd be like, okay, I want to make at least $200 by the end of tonight. When I got to 200, you think I stopped? No, I kept going until I was like, I'm tired. And I wasn't really tired, especially at the nighttime. Mm -hmm. I had so much energy, you know? So I kept, I would drive until like four in the morning you know and Charleston was one of the places when I first started when I first came here it was like I came and I'm like okay I'm only gonna you know work until eight o'clock and until you know when the light go down or dark go down because you know I was like I don't know nothing about this town but the town is very busy I'll tell you that people need to ride all hours of the night all hours of the morning because there's always somebody going to the airport always somebody going to you know getting off from work or going to school or going home or going to a friend's house. Now, the days or the months that's really good to be in Charleston doing Uber, when I was doing it, 
it was definitely May, June, July, maybe August. Definitely during the summertime. The summertime when it's hot, more people are out, more events are happening and going on. Ever since COVID, I don't know what's going on. I haven't been driving Uber. I haven't driven Uber in like a year, but yeah. And let me just tell you, the events that they have coming here, like this is a very touristy city. That's pretty much why I was making a lot of money. This Charleston is very touristy. Not only is it touristy, but it's very historic. So, you know, people come here to have weddings or, you know, all that good stuff, you know. It was, I believe, voted in a magazine to be number one as a tourist destination one time. That was like a few years back, maybe like six years ago. It, Charleston was number one. Out of all of the countries in the world, Charleston. Right, Charleston, South Carolina. So, yeah, Charleston is known for, you know, historic stuff, seafood. Unfortunately, I don't eat seafood, so can't tell you much about that. But I can tell you that it's very coastal. I love the colors, like the water and stuff, and it's really good. Like, I like, um, I like Charleston. Charleston had to grow me for a little bit. Really did. But, you know, I got used to it and I like my little second home. So, I definitely enjoy Charleston. It was great to be back for the 150th time. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I'm about to get into the character. Like, I'm about to pick up somebody from Uber. Okay, so I just got a ping and I have to pick up Ryan. And Ryan is like right around the street, like he's two minutes away. So I'm pulling up to Ryan's house. I'm gonna stop at the stop sign to take this Ryan's house. So they, you know, I'd stop, wait for a little bit. I wait for two minutes. Um, after two minutes, I got to go. I'm about to say, hey. But no, I was always courteous though. I try to give people, you know, a moment. You know, I give people like a moment, you know, to get out. So I'd wait, you know, a couple minutes, and then I'd go ahead, and um, if they weren't out here, then, you know, it's time for me to go, you know, time is money, money is time. So they get in, I say, hey, Uber for Ryan? And then, you know, I start like ca casual conversation. How's your day going so far? And you know if they want to talk. Like sometimes people don't want to be bothered. You can feel that, you can sense that. So if I felt like, or if I sensed that you wanted to talk, I, I'd talk, you know, I'd always have a positive attitude and I'd be like, hey, you know, you know, I'd actually talk to him like I'm talking to the camera right now. <laughs> so those were a couple good things. Um, I'd be like, so um, I'm breaking character all the way y'all. I am breaking character. Hey, Ryan, is that enough air back there? All right. Well, just let me know. What kind of music would you like to listen to? Would you like to listen to, you? would you like to charge your phone? Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, we'll take that shortcut, sure. You know, I do, you know, small talk like that. Yeah, but other than that, that was pretty much it when it came to doing like Uber and stuff, so I'm just, ooh. Y'all, I am behind a school bus. I don't, it's hard to believe that school buses still run. I thought kids was at home doing virtual school. And it's only what, 4, 12 p.m.? Those used to be the days. All right, I'm gonna have to get off this camera because I need to use my GPS. Really All right, guys, so I decided to get out, stretch, well, stretch my feet a little bit. And uh, behind me is the famous, colorful, what they have in San Francisco called the Painted Ladies, we have called Rainbow Row. So I don't really know the historic value. I know that those are historic buildings behind me, but I don't know like the historic value. Like for example, um, I don't know the history behind them, but I do know that they're very iconic. So like San Francisco has the Painted Ladies. We have Rainbow Row, like I just said. So we out here stretching our legs, our feet, this is really like my first time on this street. And um, these streets are very old. 
a lot of them have, well, they used to have cobblestone and they paved over a few of them. So, but some of them are still, excuse me, some are still around. And y'all know who I got with me, Trouble. So <laughs> we up there taking a few photos and um, I'm trying to stage him to, I don't know, I'm also tell people I'm a photographer too. Cause obviously this is what this look like. This is my test subject, so. But like I said, I do need to, um, just gonna do like a, you know, more videos, more sightseeing. All right, let's cross the street. All right, maybe I can get like a few good shots of him. I'm gonna show y'all what I see. It looks really nice. Should have bought our shoes. Cause I got on sandals, a flip flop. Isn't this nice? This is one of the things I wish I could have done when I was doing Uber. Stop, take a break, you know, just look. But even then it was kind of kind of hard because I was always thinking about, okay, how much money can I make? Do I want to make more money? Yay, it is finally nighttime, so we made it to the end. And we're about to go down King Street. And if you know what King Street is, comment below. Okay, guys, so I saved the best part for last. Now, this is pretty much the city, downtown area. This is King Street. I can remember back in the day, I used to have to pick up people on this street. This would be like a party, party, party street. So when tourists come here, they love to be on King Street. And it was times when we were doing Uber, or I was doing Uber where it's like, I gotta meet somebody a block away cause you can't stop on the street. The street is kind of like, it's a little narrow. So it's like, most of the times you get those passengers where it's like, where you at, where you at, where you at, where you at? You know, I'm one of those ones who be like in and out, in and out, in and out, you know? So, oh my gosh, I hated having to call them, be like, hey, um, where are you at? I can't find you. What kind of shirt you got on? Is it blue? Is it green? Okay, let me know what kind of shirt you got on. And then on top of that, where you at? What's the name of the restaurant? Okay, stay right there. I'll be right there. I'm gonna have to go back around again. I hated that too. And then it was also times when it was like, okay, you know what? I've been waiting here for 10 minutes and you still aren't here? I'm about to leave. And half the time I did leave. So um, it was what it was. But that was just, you know, more memories for me doing a little bit more Ubering. So I'm very grateful, very thankful. Man, memory lane, memory lane, party city, party city. Thank you guys for spending some time with me and little guy while we drove around in Charleston, South Carolina, looking at all of my old stumping grounds and every single thing. And it was a fun experience, fun adventure. I will say never, ever, ever forget where you came from. And I'm very thankful for that. So I just want to say thank you guys again for watching. And take care and be blessed. Bye.